Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this song by R. Kelly called I Admit. Okay, so in this lesson I'll be teaching you the instrumental piano, the sample that pretty much plays throughout this song. Okay, so it's a pretty nice uh, sample, it goes like this, give you a preview of what you're going to learn. Okay, let's get right into it. So, here we go. Let's learn it right now. Okay, so. Uh, we'll break it up into how many parts? Let me see. We'll break it up to two parts. It's not that difficult to learn. So here we go. The first part, right hand starts on the. Uh, let me see. Okay, F sharp here, which is the F sharp just above middle C. Okay, middle C is here. So F sharp here. So F sharp, G sharp, up to B, up to C sharp, and then up to D sharp, and then C sharp A, and then down to the lower C sharp, right next to middle C. And that's it for the first part for the right hand. One more time, this goes. F sharp, G sharp, B, C sharp, up to D sharp, C sharp, A, down to the lower C sharp. And that's the right hand for this first part. Once you get that right hand for the first part, left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are C sharp minor 7, it's a four note chord. It's C sharp, E, G sharp, B. And then the second chord is F sharp minor 7, which is F sharp, A, C sharp, E. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, so C sharp minor 7 followed by F sharp minor 7, the two hands together goes like this, F sharp and C sharp, C sharp minor 7 together, so it's together, A and the next chord together, like that. One more time, so it goes like this, so here's the beat, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. Okay, it's so just like that. Like that. Okay. So that's that for the two hands together for this first part. Let's move on to the second part. Right hand continues. It goes quickly C sharp, E, C sharp. Three notes. Like that. It's kind of like a trill. Mini trill. Okay. Down to the G sharp. Down to F sharp. Up to G sharp. B. C sharp. And then C natural. Up to D sharp. E. F sharp. And that's that. Okay, one more time. So it goes like this. Go C sharp, E, C sharp quickly. Down to G sharp. Down to F sharp, G sharp, B, C sharp, C natural, D sharp, E, F sharp. Like that. Okay? So it's pretty continuous, this second part. So it goes like this. Like that for the right hand. Once you get that right hand there. Left hand, we have three chords here. The three chords are A major 7, which is a four note chord. A, C sharp, E, G sharp. Second chord is D sharp half diminished, which is D sharp, F sharp, A, C sharp. And then third chord is G sharp 7, G sharp 7, okay? Which is G sharp, C, D sharp, F sharp. Okay, so with those three chords in mind. So A major 7, D sharp half diminished, and G sharp 7. The two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts with the first two notes. C sharp and A major 7 together. Right hand continues. F sharp and D sharp half diminished together. C and G sharp 7 together. Like that. Okay, one more time goes. Together. Two, three, four. Together. Two, together. Like that. So counting with it. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can see at the end, it's like passing chord. D sharp half diminished. G sharp 7 is passing chord since they're only two counts each. Okay, but anyway, that's that for the two parts. Okay, so back to back, the two parts will be played like this. Check it out. So it goes. stuff so yeah after when you get the melody and chords good you can add all these like kind of like left hand accompaniment patterns to make it a more interesting beat okay you can be like uh one so one two three one, two, dun, 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 like that kind of feel to it be like like that you can even do 
arpeggios and whatever, like. It sounds a bit nice though if you add the fourth there for the ending chorus. It's like... Yeah, a lot of fun, okay? So you can do a lot with piano because like after learning the basic versions as always you need to kind of discover ways to kind of like make up your own versions and patterns like do all these improvisational patterns and make it sound more interesting, okay? So I teach you how to do all this kind of stuff in my piano courses so you can actually learn it from my website bestpianomethod.com linked in the description below you also learn how to play by ER not just improvise as well and also learn how to sheet read, read sheet music <laughs> sheet music read but anyway yeah read sheet music is important as well because you want to play your favorite classical songs or specific versions of songs Sheet music is the best way to do that because you want to do exact stuff with that, okay? And then, yeah, there's a lot of other stuff to learn from my website, so go ahead, check it out, link in the description below. If you like these step-by-step, step, step, I can't even talk properly today. If you like these step-by-step -step piano tutorials, go ahead, check out the rest of my channel because literally I have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other videos for you to enjoy and learn from, so check those out as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. Thanks for watching. For those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.